Hi all, today we're going to talk about how to get certs, where to spend them, and the most effective ways of getting them. This will serve as a new player guide, so if you are looking for somewhere to spend your certs, or just want some advice on what I would recommend getting first, or how to make them quick, look no further. So, certs function pretty similarly. 250 experience points is one cert. This is a flat rate, and it is affected by bonuses. So let's say there is currently a double XP going on, you will get certs twice as quickly. So, knowing this, the fastest way to get certs is to make a lot of XP. And the fastest way to make a lot of XP is to play Medic. Seriously, you just play Healbot, play Resbot, and you will just rake in certs. Find a big fight, hold out your med tool, and just constantly heal and revive people, and you will print certs. Even if you're new, that is easily the fastest way to make certs in the game for a long time. The other option is to drop ammo packs as an engineer. But that needs a little bit of certing itself, so I would just recommend playing Medic. And that's pretty much how you make certs quickly in this game, is you play Medic and you heal and revive people. If you are good at shooters, or if you are a longer term player, obviously by killing players, you'll probably make them a bit faster if you're really good at what you're doing, but just healing people and reviving people takes no skill, it's extremely easy, and is far and away the quickest way to earn certs early on, and honestly long into the game. The other way to earn certs is through daily missions, and as a new player, you will have very, very easy ones. As a new player up to, I believe, BR15, you'll get uh, training-style missions, which are usually very easy. For example, the Light Assault one is just kill an enemy player, deal 1500 damage airborne, and travel 250 meters on foot. Basically, if you're a new player, just click accept on all of these and just play the game, and you'll probably get these done. You will get 60 certs by default, or 90 if you're a member. That's all that being a member will give you is just bonus certs on these daily missions in terms of cert gain. Members also get an extra experience gain, which will make your certs come faster, and you will also get 48 daily certs per day. So, if you're a member, you will get more certs, but it's absolutely not needed, especially anymore in 2024. So, there is one other way to gain certs, and it's not even active. Every time you level up, you'll get 100 certs. It's simple as that. If you level up, you get 100 certs, and this goes all the way up to battle rank either 100 or 120, and by that point, you won't need them anymore. So, where should you spend these little guys? Well, you will usually hear, spend them on abilities, spend them on suit slots, and they are completely correct. As a new player, your guns are not really the problem. Almost all of the starter guns on every faction are competitive enough, and more often than not, it's I, I'm sorry, but it's going to be your skill as a player as to why you're not getting kills. A lot of the starter guns are very competitive, and some of them are even best in class, so it's generally not the guns that are an issue, that's just a skill thing that you'll need to work on yourself. However, upgrading your abilities and suit slots will directly benefit you. I'll go over a couple priority ones for each class, but if you don't know what to do, leveling into medic and upgrading your heal tool is probably the best place to go, but that's assuming you just don't know what to do. If you already have something in mind, I'll make a couple recommendations. On Infiltrator, the very first thing you should be upgrading is your Cloak. I'd get this to level 4 or 5, which will give you a good amount of durability and a good amount of recharge speed. It's really, really handy. Stalker and Nano Armor aren't worth starting into. For the Infiltrator suit slot, I would recommend starting into Advanced Shield Capacitor, at least up to level 2 or 3, which isn't that expensive, and it will make your shields come up faster. I would also recommend starting up your Recon tool a little bit, because... If you're spamming a recon darts, it'll make them a bit better. It is by no means needed, but that's pretty much Infiltrator certs in general. It's If you like sniping, which you probably do if you're playing Infiltrator, your stock bolt-action rifle will do you perfectly fine enough. On Light Salt, it's a lot of the same story. Upgrade your main jump jets to like level 4 or 5 is usually a good place to stop because the last level isn't generally super important. You already get max rank advanced shield capacitor in your suit slot, so you don't even need to worry about this. And that's pretty much light assault. All of the starter carbines are good in their own right, so you don't even need to worry about other places to cert on light assault. On medic, cert your medical applicator. Obviously, it'll make you heal faster, it'll make you revive faster. Cert your nano region device. Whenever you press your ability key, it will do an AoE heal around you. Upgrading this will make it do it better. Suit slot, you can either stick with the free nano regen capacitor, which will make that regen field recharge faster, or you can go into advanced shield capacitor. Both are completely viable options. It's entirely up to you. 
that's Medic. See how simple this is? As a new player, you really just want to upgrade your main class ability and either go for Advanced Shield Capacitor or stick with the default suit slot. It's really that easy. You don't actually need to spend a lot of certs in this game to get competitive because a lot of getting competitive relies on gunplay, but your abilities will absolutely help you out. On Engineer, you upgrade your repair gun first to level 4 or 5, same as usual, and you can keep flak armor by default. It just makes you take less damage from explosives. It's handy. And for what you're doing as an engineer, which is usually helping vehicles, really, really useful to have. On Heavy Assault, you're going to want to upgrade your default NMG, because it will make your shield recharge faster. And you should go for Advanced Shield Capacitor. Nanoweave Armor, a lot of the information on it is very outdated. It got a massive rework, I believe, a year and a half ago now, and it's generally not worth taking. Rec I highly recommend serving into Advanced Shield Capacitor instead. It will generally do you better. That's the basics of starting out every class. That that Seriously, that is the absolute basics of starting out every class. And upgrading, say, your standard class ability and advanced shield capacitor to like level 4 or 5 each will cost you maybe 600 certs at most. Maybe a little bit more if you're factoring in like medical applicator or the repair kit. So let's say factor in another 400 certs for those. So we're going to say to top out a class, you're probably looking at a thousand certs for what you need as a new player. You will get this by level 10. And level 10 does not take very long to get. So certs are pretty easy to come by. I would recommend figuring out which classes you like and kind of focusing into those. But on the whole, just level your ability in your suit slot whenever you don't know what to do. Level your uh, medic gun or your engineer gun if you don't know what to do, and you're pretty safe from there. Keep your weapon stock, I wouldn't really too worry. You have a free scope on all of your guns, it's not equipped by default, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind, it's weird that it's not equipped by default, I don't know either. That's the basics of certing. One other thing, C4. This is only worth getting on Light Assault, it's still too expensive for what it is for now, I wouldn't worry about it. I would recommend unlocking at least a single med kit because simply act using it at any time will instantly heal all of your health, and it's really, really handy to have. But that's, even that's not super important. I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, that's the basics of certifications. It really is that simple. When you're a better player, or when you're just more experienced with the game and you have all your basic like class upgrades down, then you could start looking at buying new guns, and I intend to put a video out recommending ones on each. Thank you all. I will see you all again another time. Bye.